everyone. It's Anne with your angel card reading for the week starting the 10th of January. This is the reading for Virgo and I'm using my teacup tarot deck. I'm using a slightly different format this week. So just let me know in the comments below how you're getting on with it. So let's get right on with your reading for a really positive week. And your overall energy here is the card, the Knight of Coins. And all the knights in the deck have motorcycles. The only thing is with the Knight of Coins, she's the only one who isn't riding it because she's looking at the map. So the Knight of Coins reminds you to make a detailed plan to know exactly where you need to be going. It's the card of plan A, plan B, and even plan C if you need it. So detailed and careful planning about your next steps forward is really key mindfulness for you this week. The next card here in your help or your hurdle position is the Knight of Pencils. This knight is riding the motorbike. This knight is coming in quickly. It's a fast moving energy. And this card reminds you to choose with care. So suddenly things might take off. Suddenly you might have more than one decision to make. But this card reminds you to think it all through first. Look here, the night can go on the lovely main road, which is very well marked and nice and smooth. Or she can make a poor choice and take the bumpy track with all the rocks on it. So make sure that you think things through with care before proceeding. Choose with care. Our guidance is card number 11, the strength card. This card reminds you to use kindness to get the results that you're seeking. And here the angel looks. She's feeding the little birds that are perched up in the tree. And when she shows that kindness and compassion, all these little birds are going to come and feed from the bird table. If she's loud, if she's argumentative, she won't get the same results. She needs to be gentle and she needs to use kindness to get the results that she's seeking. How can we help ourselves? We have the card, the six of wands. This is victory. This is the success card. It's absolutely celebration of a job well done. So what a lovely card here for you. Success is right here for you. Enjoy that. Job well done. Finally, after all your hard work, you can enjoy the success that you've been working towards. Pulling it all together, card number nine, the hermit, reminds you that it's time to teach from experience. It's being that guiding light for other people. And look at the angel here. She's on the top of the hill and she's got a beautiful bright lantern. Now she can clearly see where she's going. This lantern is lighting her way. She's got her plan. She knows exactly where she's going. And just as importantly, other people can see this light, see this lantern, and she can be that beacon of light for other people to follow. She can teach from experience. It's time to show the world what she knows and to share it with others. And the outcome card here is the nine of pencils card. This reminds you not to get too much in your head with worry. Am I good enough? Am I not? This reminds you to stay positive, focus on the positive and move forward with confidence. Look at the angel here. She's focusing on the yo-yo that's flying up the string. It's got a smiling face. It's light and it's bright. She's not giving any attention to this one behind her. She's simply focusing on where she wants to be going. So this reminds you to stay positive, support yourself and keep moving forward. 
So just to summarize, make detailed and careful plans so you know where you're going and how to get there. Make your decisions with care. Use kindness to get the results that you're seeking and victory is right here for the taking. It's time to show the world what you know, to teach from experience and lead by example. And yes, you can stay positive. Focus on positivity and optimism and joy and victory and success are right here for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.